Hey everybody, it has recently come to my attention from some comments on a YouTube video of mine about Seton marketing their Infinity V6 PCI Express tuner card as not able to support network bridging or tuner sharing. And to be honest, you know, the, the video in question that the comments were posted onto was my update video. Basically, for those who don't know, um, I had to RMA my Seton Infinity V4 again, and it was even out of warranty. But, considering the track record I've had with Seton, in regards to, uh, you know, I've had to RMA the, the, the tuner, the 4 tuner card like three times. So, Seton decided to process an RMA for a Infinity V6. So, I now have an Infinity V6. The product itself is working pretty nice. <laughs> Same can't be said for Windows Media Center on the TV boxes. I've been having random issues with crashing and video error, error messages, but that's a whole different topic. Um, the, the tuner itself has been working great, but it took me by surprise when I had some people post comments saying, this device does not support tuner sharing. How did you manage to do it? You know, it really took me by surprise because I was unaware that Seat even mentioned this on their specifications. I just got this replacement card, paired up my cable card, installed it, <laughs> and within 30 minutes I had it networked up to my computer just like normal. I mean, to be honest with you, the Infinity V6 PCI Express, the only difference I even know of versus the 4 is the fact it has two more tuners. I mean, that's really the only difference I know between the 6 and the 4. And the fact that the Seton Infinity V PCI Express products show up as a network device in your network adapters, not down here in your sound or video devices, clearly gives away that this is a network device and does support bridging and tuner sharing. Now before I continue on, let's go ahead and look here at the tuner. There it is, inside the Metallica Lux. Now have a look at this video clip here. I'll show you that both the other TVs in this house are running off of this tuner. Okay everybody, here is one computer that is hooked up to the Infinity V6 PCIe via network tuners. This is my mom and dad's main box, DVR box, Windows Media Center TV box. And just to prove it to y'all, I'll show you the back of the computer. You have a look here. There is no Infinity V6 installed in this system. The only tuner is there is, there is a capture card that, can, that captures composites off of a security camera. But it is not used for TV tuners. Now if you have a look here at the network stack, there's a Black Max. See, there's a K modem. There's your router. A gigabit switch, but there's no Infinity V6 ETH sitting here. I don't have their ETH product. Don't have it. Now if we walk into this other room here, I'll show you right quick. There's another computer hooked to the Infinity V6 via network tuners. So that's two computers that are running off of my Infinity V6 PCI Express tuner card via network tuners. So that this proves that it does support it. So let's go ahead and walk back into the room. So as you clearly saw, both the computers were running TV streaming off of this Infinity V6. Those two computers have always run off of the Infinity V products. As long as I've had them, they've never actually housed an Infinity V tuner inside of them. Except for that one time I was setting up the TV box. Initially, I found out the device doesn't support NVIDIA chipsets, but anyways, that's a whole different story. I mean, as you see, Line number one is legit. It does not support enforced motherboards or chipsets. I found out the hard way. <laughs> but line number two is a blatant lie. It really is. Watch when I tab over to archive.org, the Wayback Machine. Notice that line's missing. They added that, I think, in September of last year. Yep. See, there it is. You see it now? but it wasn't there then. Yeah, something a little fishy there, isn't it? So basically, I opened a ticket with Seton about the matter. 
Not only that, the the you know, I mean the reason why I opened a ticket was because of this, but not only that. I had a YouTube user post a comment to my video about the bad experience he had with Seton's customer support in regards to tuner sharing. They pretty much flat up told him that no, it is no way possible to do. Truth is, marketing says so, but um, in reality, as you saw, it is totally possible. So yes, what I did was I, um, I referenced this comment. I actually copied and pasted into a ticket and left the user anonymous. I said it's as anonymous YouTube user to protect the guy's identity. Because I wanted to, I wanted Satan to see this guy's experience because it is absolutely um, ridiculous. You know, I I opened a ticket up and I shared my opinions. And why not? Let's go take a look at that. Yeah, let's go. Let's go have a look. Pointing the camera off the screen because I won't see. I don't want you to see my address or phone number. Prefer to keep some things off of YouTube. Let's go to support. Yeah, submit support ticket. And it takes us to the ticket site. Let's log in. Buy tickets. And there we go. So anyways, false marketing on CNF and TV6 PCIe. Let's scroll down to the bottom where I start out. It said the following. It has come to my attention that Seton infantv 6 PCI, according to the Seton website, no longer supports network bridging tuner sharing. That was brought to my attention by some comments on a recent YouTube video. A cached copy of the requirements page on archive.org from you know, said set date is missing the following line. And it's the one I showed you earlier. Despite this, my Infinity V6 supports network tuning feature just fine. It's the same as my 4 did. Two other Windows Media Center computers use tuners from it. With a simple mouse click and device manager, support bridging was set from no to yes, just like on the ITV4. And according to Satan Dynox itself, and my 6 has firmware 14.10.3.63 installed and reports that there is no newer version of the firmware available. It seems to me like whoever's in charge of marketing the Infinity V6 products might be in false. Might be false marketing the PCIe as unable to support the network bridging in favor of trying to push the ETH product. Now honestly, that's what it seemed like at first. So don't get me wrong, I like the ETH6, but I don't understand how a product like the Infinity V6 PCIe can have a feature one day, then not have it the next. I mean, all the ITV, that's Infinity V, PCIe products act as a network adapter according to Device Manager. Please advise. Thank you. Anyways, there's that whole paragraph I wrote. Or paragraphs and here is here is exactly what Seton support said about why they made changes to their site it says we don't support bridging on the 6 turn because the PCI because we don't um, but we do not block its use Microsoft bridge technology is not ours and we allowed enthusiasts to use the bridge technology but we found it was not as stable as we would hope for since it is not our code, we cannot change or update to enhance its ability. We created the Infinity V6 Ethernet unit using tuner pooling as a supported method for sharing tuners across PCs. The PCI Express 6 tuner was never intended to be a network bridge device, and we updated our website to further clarify the statement. But, I mean, they never intended for it to be that, but honestly, it can do network bridging. For those who are warning, Yes, it can. Now, later on in this ticket, I actually, um, this is where I actually um, shared the guy's comment, and of course, I said, an honest YouTube user writes, I did not share the guy's name. I wouldn't do that to somebody. But anyways, um, Seton did appreciate me sharing that information because that way they could forward it to their marketing customer support. Because, because obviously that that customer was not handled properly. But anyways, I'm sure this probably answered a lot of questions for you guys. Does the Seton FNTV6 PCI Express tuner support network bridging? Well, yes it does, just like the 4 did, but Seton doesn't officially support it. 
because of the Microsoft Bridge adapter, which is practically, let me go and show it to you, it is this thing there, the Mac Bridge main port that's built into Windows. It's a software bridge. And, of course, they probably had some issues with it. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but honestly, I don't think I've ever had any major issues with the with the Microsoft Bridge adapter. So, anyways, let me go and show you how to enable bridging on your Infinite TV 6 or 4. What you gotta do is go to Start, Control Panel, Device Manager. And, of course, there is the Infinite TV again. Let's look at the properties. To my understanding, the default setting in Advanced the support bridging value is set to no. I think that's a factory setting. You can check this and set it to yes. And click OK. And your device will be able to bridge. Then you just go into Windows Media Center after you install all the drivers, including the network tuners driver. You go into Media Center, go to the network tuning wizard that's in extras, I do believe. Then you configure which tuners you want the, the host computer to use and then it will allow you to put the rest of them on the network for other computers to use. So again, in actuality, the Infinity V6 PCI Express does support bridging just like the 4 did. Seton is not blocking the feature, but they don't officially support it. Anyways, <clears throat> I just wanted to do a follow-up video about the matter because I'm sure many of you guys were probably a bit curious about this. So yes, the, again, the 6 does support it. The PCI Express device does support tuning over the network. Anyways, had any questions or comments? Feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching.